All right, let's try again. Uh, I've given up on playing the most difficult portal puzzles, but I don't know if I return to playing portal again because I've exhausted by those nightmare puzzles at first. I was fascinated by the most difficult puzzles in portal, but spending a month in those puzzles made me feel depressed due to the lack of some crucial knowledge. Then I kind of lost some interest in portal. It's a great game, but it beat me. Um, no, I, I was muted. It'll be so I coughed and I didn't turn it back on again. Uh, yeah, I can I can totally relate to that. Um, of various. It gets to a point, I feel like, with Portal, where you kind of just want to keep... You want to push yourself. Um, you want to push yourself further and further and see what actually... I do some English, but... See how far you can go and what you can achieve. And sometimes you can kind of push yourself too much. And it becomes... Not fun. And, like, more of a chore. I mean, Portal, don't get me wrong, Portal 2 is still a very good game. And there is still a lot that you can enjoy with it. Just, you know, don't ever feel pressured that you've got to play the harder puzzles. I mean, if you're curious about it, you know, I don't know give, it, give it 20 minutes, see what you can do. And then, if you can't figure it out, there's always you know, YouTube. Never feel ashamed that, you know, to if, if you can't work it out, to get some hints or just admit defeat. You know, there's no weakness in admitting that you can't do something. All right. Let's go and tackle this lost puzzle, shall we? Vertical locomotion. Oh, is that a blue one? First thing. It's blue, da ba dee da bo die Okay, so we need to take it all the way through there. Did messed up. Let's try that again. Oh no. Now we done did messed up big time. Ah, uh, well then. Looks like I am resetting. I find it interesting that there is no I suppose it was the same with like the original Talos though, wasn't it? There was no kind of, in some of the puzzles, there was no like exit path if you get yourself stuck. It was completely normal to get yourself stuck. Right, let's do that again. Two minutes ago, you just solved that puzzle. Now, do it again.
Yeah, I think like being a a resident like puzzle game player. I'm a bit surprised. I guess it's just what we've come to kind of expect of puzzle games, that there is fail saves in place, I guess you could call them potentially. Excuse me. I was looking at your research log and I was rather perplexed by the latest upload. Oh, Melville strikes again. Is that your foot, Melville? Yes. Do you want to see it up close? Although you won't be able to fully enjoy it, as you don't have a rear camera. Sorry, Mayor. Melville just has a... unique way of taking pictures. Next time you're getting an upgrade, you coot. I'm installing a mute button. <laughs> oh, I love Melville. Melville's great. What puzzle are we up to? Five, I think? So I'm also kind of still looking around for an area that resembles essentially the buttons we need to press. But also looking for one Prometheus spark, right? For the other star. Well, oh, not Prometheus spark, but... Right, nuisance. I have a feeling this puzzle is going to involve that getting in the way of what we need to do. That is the nuisance. Interesting. Blame. Thank you, Elvin. the exit. That's gone too far. Pay close attention now. Pentas one, it was a simulation after all, so some infection suppression that could be reasonable. I could see both sides of the point of view. Um, please, uh, I think you're referring to the uh, like the resetting functionality, right? Pierce. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's sneaky. 
Okay. Well, let's sneak Maybe not so. We should reconfigure what we're thinking here. This is so mellow and chill. I like it. Places of belonging happens. To understand what humanity is capable of, what it means to flourish, we have to look at the golden age of Athenian democracy. The list of geniuses who lived in Athens at this time is so long it's almost inconceivable. Pericles, Pericles, Sophocles, As yeah, I'm, I'm not going to read all those names. <laughs> the list goes on. There are people who change world history. Without them, there is no, there is no stratum of. St to inspire Alexander Dredden. Oh man, I'm struggling. Um, without them, whom we do not exist. Was it a perfect time? No, undoubtedly not. But listening to the list, listing the flaws, obscures the greater truth. Given the opportunity, given freedom and resources and space to grow, human beings are capable of incredible things. It would mean everything to me to walk the roads where these people once walked. Stand where they stood and think about the world as they dared to. <laughs> He's locked you on the keyboard. Maybe you should make a, a macro that. Um, oh, I see the Prometheus. Flame. Hello. Hello. Okay, again, I think I already see what we need to do here. This is actually, this actually could be pretty cool. Can't do it with this one. Ah, oh, okay, maybe not. So I thought for a second. I'll cross the streams as well. Uh, I thought for a second that we'd put the connectors on the opposing. Here's the thing. No, 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 we're still good. Actually, we're still good. So good. Here's why. So, for this to work, we'll do that. Oh, 
not there, can we? And what we need to do is actually come on top of this. Then we play the waiting game. How we abandon the puzzle. Follow the sprite. More of a Pepsi guy myself. Where are you going? The statue's right there. Yeah, we would, well, we, we do technically call, if you say, like, lemonade, and, like, do you want a can of lemonade, and somebody brought you a Sprite, then, yeah, that would um, class as, um, yeah, this, oh, yeah, okay, um, that would class as lemonade, even though it is actually a lemon and lime based drink. So you're, yeah, I mean, I guess you're talking about like a, like a still lemonade. But yeah, lemonade here, it's more common to be carbonated and fizzy than flat. Well, not flat, but still. I kind of, I suppose I did. But I never great really... works have been accomplished by those who believed in humankind, but greater things than these may yet be accomplished by those who uphold the faith. I guess I just never gave it that much thought, if I'm honest, LB. Eight puzzle signs, I think. Need to work out which orientation the map is. Okay, back to the puzzle. Puzzles are good, right? We like puzzles. in the red. Am 
I bump this back? No. Who knows, maybe the kid's got like a soda stream. You guys have soda stream in America? Yeah, Sony streams are... The founder has a remarkable gift for designing these trials. But then, she did have to overcome Elohim, whose very purpose was to design trials. So yeah, like, the best way to do... I mean, we used to have them when we were kids, and I mean, like, back when I was a kid, they were really expensive. But yeah, it's like a machine, and you put, like, a gas pump in it. And then you get flavors and you like carbonate your own drinks. I don't know, maybe maybe the, the kids selling lemonade at the front of the house, maybe that's what they had. They, they just had soda streams. Okay, so what I actually need to try and understand is. So I, I stand by what I said, and I believe it is the uh, puzzles. Uh, the, the puzzles are indicative of what we need to do, but where the... I just wonder if it was a throwback to one of the earlier areas. Whereby... Uh, switches were on the puzzle signs. There's a red there as well, okay. Okay, the red obviously needs to be here and point into that to make that move, and then we're done. Then I believe we will do actually, maybe not. We are going to need a red there. Ah. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. 
Put me in. Put me in. Forgot you could stand on the button. An excellent solution. As you do. All right, one puzzle left. Ribbit to you two. And check. Bye. I mean, this could just be like the three that I've looked at. Six, seven, eight. So we could just be really unlucky. So we're a puzzle really close to eight. Solve it first. Transference of matter. I'm guessing this is here to let the laser pass. Okay, what have we got on the whopper here? Hang on, and swaps. That's a teleporter. Seems more useful at the minute than a connector. Okay, so the goal is to take that round there like that. Okay, gotcha. Second connector. to here. We'll get the connector back now. Oh, that's not good. Obviously, I forgot you cannot send lasers through glass windows. Okay. So, in that case... Teleport back. Oh. A little bit eager there, were we, Knock? I believe so. Can't remember.
Can you teleport through Grace? I'm pretty sure you can, right? Excellent. Um, one teleporter. Did do play. There we go. All right. Assume the map is north, south, east, west. That doesn't line up with that. Now that would more line up with this notion. One, two, so let's head over to two. Okay. Also, who's ready for some pizza? Okay, so... Yeah, these ones. So this was a an on the floor kind of thing, wasn't it? But the, I just jumped to a conclusion that maybe because there is eight of these and there are eight puzzles, like eight main puzzles, um, that would be the case. Ooh, let's not do that. Many pieces. My goodness. It's gonna be here all day. Piece is gonna be cold. Hey, okay. so what we'll do? So nobody likes cold pizza delivered, right? We will. three pieces up. Pretty straightforward. We got pizza! Zero there. It's cold. So we haven't found the lost lab yet, have we? It's interesting. I've never got this far in and not found the lab. So clearly we haven't explored everywhere.
Um, E3. Yeah, I struggled with E3, didn't I? I was all ready for it and then they cancelled it. I was like, damn it, why did you cancel it? There was no need. Okay, so there's nothing in that direction. You can put like buttons or anything that's reminiscent. I don't think there's anything over here. Okay, let's head on into the tower. Go speak to the Sphinx slash Pandora slash Prometheus slash whoever turns up in front of our eyes. Very triangular shaped corridor, this isn't it? Supposed to be here. We check every nook and cranny, though, right? Just in case. This is the last time we will speak, Creature of Clay. Together, we have told the stories of ancient gods and heroes. But the golden ages of the past are distant. The gods have retreated to their high places, and there are no heroes amongst men. In days gone by, I was renowned for my riddles. But you, Creature of Clay, are a riddle without an answer. I will find my answer. Let us hope that you will. Farewell, creature of clay. Remember my stories, and do not let the flame burn you. is an filter. unsettling amount of energy. I would hate to see what would happen if one of those beams was aimed at something else. Well, can you stand in front of it and we'll give it a go, Mayor? How's that sound? All right, so we are looking for the Lost Lab. And we are also looking for the puzzle for the second star before we can retreat this area thank you uh, I've done a lot of cross country so I'm going to stick to I tell you what, one, one place we haven't really looked since we got here is the train slash tram station Check down here. There is indeed nothing. Other than some trees that are growing through the concrete. Excellent. Nature's really taking back what it's uh, taking back its hold on this place, isn't it? All right, so let's explore the path. See what we uncover.
because he instantly deviates off the path. Knock sticking to his guns. Have we been over there? I don't think we have. There's a palm terminal over here. I think. Is that a palm terminal? Oh no, no, it's not. It was the oil machine. To phrase an expression uh, we use quite a lot when somebody is indecisive, you'd never hang yourself. I know it's maybe a bit uh, an unsavory thing to say, but yeah. I don't think I'd ever hang myself, I don't think I'd ever pull the trigger. That indecisive. Uh, in other news, though, we're back on the path. That's something like. Right. This looks suspicious. Hey, we found the lab. There we go. Let's go. Looks a bit battered in places. Music just took a sinister turn. Lord Founder, know that I do not believe any of the lies the expedition is spreading about you. Something is right. This Prometheus illusion is just a test. We will resist temptation as once you did. We will not disappoint. Some there, there really are like New Jerusalem is really now split, isn't it? Like believers and non-believers. First published as Athena, a novel, and retained the title for its first three paintings, now highly sought after. After a lull in popularity, it was re reprinted as Athena Reborn, a novel. This edition retained the same text, but included some of the author's poetry. The next edition, however, published a long after the author's death under the rather embarrassing title Athena's Truth, included severe cuts and drastic changes to the text in the interest of updating it for modern audiences. This particularly affected the last chapter. Anthrop anthrop anthropog anthropogony anthropogony which the editors accused of scientism and human supremacy. Science wonder wonder Science wonder kid kind Alexander Drennan was one of the few to come to the novel's defence, writing in a long essay that the novel's clear-eyed beliefs in the value of Athena's journey towards humanity had been essential to shaping her own views, encouraging her to pursue science as a vocation rather than a career, and that changing the text constituted an attack on the author's uni unique artistic and philosophical, philosophical vision. Alex, who hurt you? LMAO. One of the editors commented on a popular social media platform. Nadia Sarabaya, one of the Institute of Applied Neomatics, also got involved in the discussion, backing Drennan, resulting in a long but unsuccessful campaign to out Sarabaya from her position as head researcher. In the current context of ecological catastrophe, as evidenced by the recent expedition of the extinction of the orangutan, clumsy editing aside, 
do the critics of the novel perhaps have a point after all? Is a philosophy that places humans above nature and sees science and technology as the only valid tools the cause of all our troubles? What about other ways of knowing? Ways, other ways of living? What there, isn't there, that's uh, redacted? Is it split or is it allowed minority? Uh, It's interesting. I'm not sure. Oh, please say we get to use that as a puzzle one. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Yoroneski. War is the crudest, most obscene human activity. It may just justly be called an abomination for it's the absolute negation of conscious human will. Did I? Mm. Okay. Can't remember. There is only a single cause of war for all the endless deceptions that are foisted upon us and that is the acquisition of resources. Varied ideologies are constructed to justify this crude behavior, this childish degeneration of thought and communication, but history reveals the ruthless, unflattering truth. We imagine crusaders as fanatics of a cause, willing to die for their religion. Yet the Fourth Crusade culminated not in the conquest of Jerusalem, but in the long looting of Const Constin Constantinople, setting the stage for triumph of the very enemy the crusaders claimed to oppose. Why? The answer, as with every war, is the same. It is popular amongst the ghouls of the establishment and their mis misanthrop misanthropic friends in the in intelligent intelligentsia to ascribe the persistence of war to human nature. But careful observation of the facts reveals the opposite to be true. Individual human beings must be broken in order to submit to war, their minds distorted by ideology and their bod bodies by poverty and ruthlessness, training to make them compliant. Without force, the majority of human beings only seek to protect themselves and are traumatized by the act of killing. But if it is the re is resource that are the core cause of war, then it is only in production and disturbance of resource that an answer may be found. It is not enough to morally condemn war. We must work to prevent the, the material issue that endangers us all. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I actually meant like within a puzzle itself. Dear Founder, I'm afraid that we're losing our humanity. We're angry at each other, always disagreeing about everything, unable to forgive each other for being different. I don't know how much longer, and I don't know what could save us. Please help us, Founder, please. Resuming trials with new protocol. Oh, the, the, the trials went past that. Huh. New protocol, energy output contained, no errors. Trial and advanced synthesis. It's interesting that, like, the first trial after Miranda succeeded. As much as, like, Miranda was, like, a... It seemed like she was a visionary and she was, like, coming up with so many new ideas and so many new thought processes. Was she ultimately just being... For lack of a better word, incompetent at what she was doing. From Byron. I just wish I knew why you didn't tell me. Byron's still around. Who do you think you are playing God like that? When Mother Nature has finally, finally found a way of getting rid of us, you come up with this harebrained scheme to keep our to keep our destruction of the planet going. Just try for one second to think about something other than your own arrogance and hubris, Alexandra. Try to imagine what you're really doing here. Without the robotic perversions, the future looks beautiful. No more humans murdering everything in their path. The skies clear up, the stars become visible again, the rivers stop being filthy, and after a few decades, they're full of fish again. Dolphins and whales roam the seas like their ancestors did. Cities turn into jungles, bats nest in skyscrapers, where hedge fund managers used to run their, ruin their lives. The earth lives on as it was meant to, peacefully and quietly, until some day in the distant future when it all ends like it was also meant to. Or we take your path, we continue our rampage, we place ourselves above the animals, we think we know better than Mother Nature, we violate all boundaries, we ruin all purity, 
perhaps even to defy death, just so we can keep spreading our filth. Then we spread to other planets to do more of the same. And in the end, what have we left, left behind but plastic and radiation? Think, Alexandra, it's better for the beauty to return to the Earth. Is it be isn't it better for beauty to return to the Earth? For us to acknowledge that intelligence was a mistake and to gracefully exit while we can? Stop this. Go spend time with your friends and loved ones before the end. Let it go. Let us all go. Let there be peace. I don't understand how someone could hate humanity so much. This person must have been full of sadness and frustration to write something so ugly. I've tried to understand it as well, but I still don't. Well, I think... Interestingly, I think it's a case that um, their, that person's viewpoint is, you know what, we've run our course, we've done enough damage, you know, this is Mother Nature's way of naturally purging the planet and returning it, returning everything back to normal, so what will be will be. But unfortunately, human nature will always, not to quote Ian, Ian Malcolm, but find a way. Um, and... Yeah, it's kind of inevitable that people and scientists will want to um, crack the code, solve the riddle, and proceed the best the, the best way they can. So, yeah, it's just I think that's just like the natural mindset of a scientist, and that's something that you would never ever be able to. Um, I guess one there, you never ever be able to change, unfortunately. Killing a philosopher for asking questions they did not like, the Athenians committed themselves to a tragedy with an ironic ending. Some will say his true crime was his friendship with Alcibiades, the shameless deceiver of idiots and buffoons, and the inspired brute Critias, and that he was executed as an enemy of democracy. He was the latter, can hardly be denied. For Socrates asked too, not too many questions, but too few or he would not have survived the rule of the 30 tyrants. Yet, in the end, he got what he asked for. A tyrannical decision made by would-be wise men against the spirit of freedom, which he obeyed like a knave. And the Athenians, in fulfilling his wishes, strangled the roots of democracy while seeking to... No wonder Stran wasn't popular. People who speak the truth, at times, rarely are. Is that Athena, like... Speaking from experience, maybe she's tried to speak to people before, and people just haven't listened to her. All right. Uh, just checking there is anything else here. Excellent day. Down here in the bottom, hiding sneakily away. No. No. In that case, onwards we go. We have one more start to crack. Where could it be? 